My name is Carson Kaler. I am the sixth generation coming up on the Kaler family farm operation. My family has been predominantly tracks for basically as long as I can remember. Compaction is a really big issue in our area and we thought that tracks was the answer. And we still run a lot of track tractors and other things that are tracks, but when I got introduced to CTIS, I got really excited because I thought, man, maybe there's actually another option for our compaction issues that we have here in Minnesota. So after talking to Rob at NTS, we decided to put a CTIS system on our 1770 John Deere 24 row planter. And immediately it was clear that this was a viable option that I think a lot of farmers should probably use and the ROI on it was right there. The first field that we pulled into, I noticed almost immediately that the tractor felt like it had more power. Those tires underneath the central seed system weren't sinking down in the dirt as far as they normally do, giving a lot more flotation, pulling a fair amount easier. And then when I went out and I stuck my spade in the ground, I was actually able to penetrate and really well. And I was able to kick the dirt behind the tires. And I immediately thought, this is pretty cool, but let's see how it turns out in harvest. So that year we did two trials and it ended up being a really, really dry year, really dry spring, really dry summer, dry fall. One of those years that you wouldn't think that tire pressure would make a big difference. But in our two trials that we did, the corn yielded two and a half bushels better where we had the CTIS turned on versus where we had the pressure or the tires at high pressure. And it, it hit me, if it was a wetter year, that would pay for itself in one year. And even on the dry year, a dang year paid for itself in a full year. It was absolutely incredible. I do like tracks. Tracks are really nice. I love the maneuverability they give you, but they do have some negatives. That's they're really expensive to maintain. They're really expensive to buy. And if you do a lot of roading, it wears down on them so fast. Tracks, you don't have the speed down the road either. I mean, tires, you can go 36 miles per hour with these new tractors. The problem is that each bogey is a pressure point. So even though tracks look like they have a massive footprint, all that pressure is held between the rear idler, the front idler, and every bogey, and you have these pressure points. Whereas on a tire that's deflated, you have one patch that has the same pressure rather than five patches of high pressure. The CTIS clicked for me really early being the planter operator, but when it really clicked for my dad and my brother was on a wet spring, I backed into the ditch to fill up the planter. And then when I stepped in the ditch, my heel, my boot, went in further than the tires did. That was when it really clicked for my dad and my brother that, you know, this is actually something that's working. It's paying for itself. I hope that CTIS becomes a normal thing that you see on most tractors. I think to start out with, it's gonna be predominantly more common in areas where compaction is a big issue. You know, Here in Southern Minnesota, where we're basically farming swamp ground, I, I think it's gonna catch on a lot faster than maybe some of your, your sandier or um, lighter soil textures. But even saying that, there's good benefits for almost everybody to run CTIS. I'd recommend CTIS for anybody that thinks that they have compaction or pinch rows or, or even people that are fighting fuel efficiency issues. Even our track tractor pulling a planter that had CTIS, I noticed great fuel efficiency and great power increase. Being able to inflate your tire pressure way up to go down the road and gain a lot better fuel efficiency, it makes a lot more sense to me. If you get out of the tractor and you can't kick the dust in your tire tracks, look at CTIS.